Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you the solar powered water fountain from Amazon. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Amazon has a few to pick from and I chose this one that looks kind of like a flower. So in the box we have the instructions, the water nozzle, the pump and the solar panel. So you're going to want to remove the plastic sticker on it. It's just a protective sticker. And here at the back is the pump. It has three suction cups. There's also a side lever to keep the pump in place on the back of the solar panel. This flexible lever is awesome so if you need to clean out the pump, you can. So this paper is just showing you the package content, everything that comes in the box, along with all your instructions. It comes with four different nozzle heads for different water patterns, along with a connecting pipe. If you want to pause this video to read all this information, you may go ahead and pause the video. It's just telling you on how to clean your solar power water fountain and how it works. So I'm going to be using the longer connection pipe to give me a higher fountain water flow. and just choose the style of flow you want. Then connect it to your solar pump. I will be choosing B5. So you just wanna put it on till it snaps. Then go ahead and place it on your pump. So if you also notice, the solar power screen is just on top of an inch of foam. Your solar power fountain will float on top of the water. So I will be putting my solar power water fountain into my bird bath. The reason I am putting a fountain into my bird bath is any standing still water. This is where mosquitoes like to lay their larvae and hatch. So as long as your water's moving, this will not happen. This helps your backyard with having less mosquitoes. So as you can see, the pump has started to work already just by using solar power. But unfortunately, right now, the clouds are out and the sun is behind the clouds. But as it sits out, it does collect some sort of sun. And as you can see, the power of the fountain is getting a little stronger. So on my bird bath, because it's cement, the suction cups don't work on cement surfaces. So I just let it float. If you don't want yours to move around in the water, just place a couple rocks around the solar fountain and it won't float around. So 
so we will come back once the clouds are gone. Now that the clouds are gone, you can see how strong this little solar power water fountain is. I really do love this little water fountain. So the solar power fountain only works during the day when it's sunny or a little cloudy. It does shut off at night. Now anywhere that you put your solar power water fountain, you want to make sure that the water is clean so your pump doesn't get plugged with leaves or any kind of debris. And also, if you live in an area where you get freezing temperatures, you want to remove the fountain before that happens. If you're finding that the water pressure is really high and your stream is going very high on a windy day, for example, my bird bath isn't large. So on a windy day, the water goes over the bird bath and my bird bath empties out of water. So you want to make sure that that doesn't happen to you because you don't want to wreck your pump by having it run with no water. To help the situation, remember we used the connecting pipe to make it longer. Well, you don't need the connecting pipe, just put the smaller pipe on so it's not so long and your water won't shoot up as far. This will help your water stay more in your container or bird bath or your small pond. The birds aren't afraid of this little water fountain at all. They actually enjoy it. Stay tuned for my next video on how I created this bird bath out of boxes and cement. I will link it to this video once I have it up. If you haven't noticed, you don't hear the pump noise at all. You just hear the sound of the water. If you do hear a little bit of the buzzing, that's just our AC unit. I find the water fountain very relaxing. And I love the design it creates on the water, leaving the water drops and ripples. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you making a decision on what solar power water fountain you would like to purchase for yourself. Again, this one I bought off of Amazon. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for all new videos. Thanks for watching.